Hello and welcome to the Exiled playthrough of Raj of India. I'm your host, Exiled Tyrant, and we're going back into India. We're going to try and right the wrongs of the last play. That was just... some mistakes were made, some charts were held upside down, but we're doing well. We're, we're going to do well. I, I got a good feeling about this. Uh, <clears throat> just a quick recap. We swore allegiance to the king of Bengal. He's not a too bad guy. He's a hunter. I'm also a hunter. Just don't have that as a title for some reason. But it doesn't matter. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. Now, when we left last time, uh, I had to abruptly end it. The computer was giving me some trouble. But now let me just figure out what we're going to be doing. Because we're trying to improve our relations with our liege, but he is absolutely thrilled. He's happy that I've entrusted a ward. I don't think that I gave him the ward. I think it was just that he asked uh, asked for my son Tyrannus. Yeah, to be looked after. Oh, it's his wife. Wow, that's really cool. <clears throat> so apparently, it counts as giving a ward. At least that's what I'm thinking. I'm hoping. That when I give his wife a ward, it'll count as giving him a ward, because they're both related, of course, through marriage. Uh, this is really cool. I really like this uh, relations thing. But anyway, let's... Uh, what other children? Junkie is being trained also by a Buddhist. Uh, David is not old enough yet, and neither are my two daughters. So let's get this going. Well, our prestige is still hurting. <laughs> our uh, pride is a little sore after getting thoroughly thumped and sat on by these northerners. Ugh. But, I don't know. I think we're doing okay. The exiled Raj will rise. Oh, we've declared a war. What for? Ooh, a new daughter. Excellent. <coughs> we are contesting a small, useless little title. Alright, well. Whatever. So, what's the de jure part? Is it duchy? De jure? Hmm. This guy's gonna have like three kingdoms when he's done. Quite the impressive king. Hmm. Wait a minute. So, if he married a Brahmin, why is that not changing their caste? Oh, right, because a Brahmin is a higher caste. Right. That's why some of these children are not particularly. Yeah, see, but then my other daughter, she's just got born, but she's a child of a concubine, so she can inherit, but are regarded poorly. Um, follows smartest branch of Hinduism. Okay. Um, and she's of the warriors and kings, because her mother was, even though her mother's just a concubine. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Has created the title Raj of Magadha. Hmm. Rajdom of Magadha. Where is that? Another daughter. <coughs> I'm hoping that I get some more daughters. We need some women in these courts. Like, it just felt like when I started, I think there was really only my wife to choose from. The only reason I have all these concubines is because I presented them as debutantes. Which I'm regretting not doing in the first place to get a wife. Hmm. What about Tyrannus? See, you know, he's got a ton, but they're all about his age, so... But anyway... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What about this one? Janist. Eh. <coughs> but... She's got attractive, and I'd like to... Honestly, if you're not playing Crusader Kings eugenically, you're not playing it, right? You gotta try and breed shit into this. Which is why if you get inbred, you might as well just kill off that entire branch of that dynasty. It's just... there's no going back. Um... yeah, we'll try for this. Come on. Yeah, that's right. You wanna be married to a guy in this kingdom? Awesome. <clears throat> it's kinda neat that they added in all this territory, but it's unfortunate that they didn't put anything. I understand why they didn't. They said mostly because of the difference in Tibetan uh, culture at this time. But, eh, I don't know. 
It's weird, because it, since we're in India, probably we'll never see anything over here. But, who knows. It's a little bit of a shame. A little bit of a shame. Because I would like to... It, it'd be kind of neat. Maybe if we did a conquest. Maybe someday we'll conquer all this. Not now. <clears throat> First we have to conquer our small little corner of the world. What other... What de jure places do I have? Somewhere in the neighboring kingdom. Which is why I'm, I'm hoping... Though I doubt that... Oh, is this my wife? Awesome. Excellent. Need some more prestige and some more children. Um, I hope that the Maharaja will declare war on uh, our neighboring kingdom for my claim, but I doubt he will. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I think the only issue with that is, is that, like, right now, India is pretty much divided between three massive... Uh, my mission to yada yada yada, Maharaja's even happier with me. Fantastic. Hmm. Even with the zealous thing, he doesn't mind me that much. It's pretty good. <coughs> um, hmm. That's nah, not a big deal. I do kind of want some more troops, though. Let's put. How many cities do I have? Oh, there's one there. There's two castles. A church. <coughs> Let's call that a church. It's called a church. I don't know why it's not called a temple. Meh. Minor nitpicking. I actually have... So I've got two temples, one town. Nothing here. But this guy? Oh, that's why he beat me. He's got one that's completely maxed out. Maybe I should just save and do that. Uh, but quite... Quite, uh, quite a few churches. So let's actually just improve the church levies. Excellent. Um, can I just... Religion? Fort, vassals. Um, hmm. Weird. <coughs> Excuse me again. Jeez. Got something, some tickle in my throat. There we go. That's a little bit better. Ooh. Hmm. Shiv Singh. Hmm. Ooh, just because I'm a dork. Nunian Sing. Ha ha ha. Why not? Ha! He said. Holy shit, I have a lot of children. David. <coughs> Let's have David be. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say no to that. And I'm assuming the Maharaja is just constant. Yeah, it's just Buddhists. Which doesn't really bother me. I'm surprised that they were able to put this in. I understand that, you know, swastika is a very old symbol. It's been in... <coughs> even some Roman mosaics have swastikas in them. But it's just strange that... Um, that uh, a Swedish company... Where I'm not entirely sh certain... Uh, if they have a ban, but I do know that Paradox does not allow swastikas um, on their forums. I'm assuming, though, that that's just in reference to the uh, kind of the <coughs> stealing of that symbol that the Nazis did. Because it, it's, it's, it's a nice symbol. It's when it's not in the context of this white pride garbage. <coughs> Alright, the dynasty map is the same as the normal one because everybody's called by what they are. I always found that strange. Hmm. Alright, how much money have we got? Hmm. And this I would be only able to improve with a city. build another castle, so I could build it there. 700 gold. Yes. 600, 600. This one's probably like 5? Yeah. 
Can I take a loan from anything? <clears throat> or we'll go on a tiger hunt. Maybe that'll put me finally over this prestige dip. All the hunters are here and we're ready to go. Awesome. I have a prestige of 300 to go search for a guru. Really? Hmm. So, which one did I pick? Did I? Oh, yeah, Vishnu. Ugh, now I gotta wait even longer. I could take him. I think that's what I said last time, though. The fact that he raises 217 when the Maharaja raises him, I only raised 143. Uh, I have a quite positive opinion of him. Eh, so does he. Still. Still. <clears throat> if there's a war going on... What's this? <clears throat> a priest from the local temple has arrived. Asking... Asking speak with you. Okay. Asking to speak with you. My lord, the holy elephants at the temple are all sick. However, we have learned that there is a healer in a neighboring province who is famous for healing ailing elephants. He is, however, most expensive. How unfortunate for you. Um, it's only ten. Sure, I'll pay for that. Anyway. Uh, as I was saying, whenever there's a war going on, try and send some troops. If it's a war that you know you can do well in, you might as well, because then you'll get some, uh, some prestige out of fighting. Maybe even some money if you're at a siege at the right time. It's just a damn shame that I can't pick who my generals are, because I don't think that the <coughs> Maharaja has high enough crown authority. Can I see where it is? Yeah, autonomous vassals. Which really means there's almost no point to him even being our lord. But, ah, didn't get there quite fast enough. That's okay. I'll just go crush what's left of him. A little bit of prestige, not much. And then... <clears throat> What's this? Yeah, sure. Educate my daughter. I'd rather that all my children become Hindu or er, Buddhist because it would seem the majority of this kingdom is, except for my corner. My corner is Hindu. Hmm. There are worse things. I've got almost a third of the king's army. Hmm. Army of Raja Tyrant. Really, I'm leading this. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't really have an issue with that. That's fine by me. Who's this? My courtier? Why am I being informed about this? You were not related to anybody. You didn't do anything. God. If somebody would be willing to tell me what this symbol is. I looked for it and looked for it, but I couldn't find it. I don't know. Be neat to know. Because like I said in the last video, I have no idea about anything with Indian culture. The only time I really have ever studied India much is uh, in relation to the British occupation or the, uh, the incursion of Alexander along the river Indus. I was actually thinking of doing that as a... maybe I'll do that just as a playthrough for myself. But uh, maybe... is there... let's see... direct vassals. Yeah, maybe pick like somebody up here and be uh, Hellenic, Greek, and call myself Bactria. I was thinking that might be fun. And we won that war. Oh, that's outside of our country. Hmm. What kingdom is he missing? So he's just missing this little chunk from Bihar. Or Bihar. Don't make me for my pronunciation. Or this side from Bengal. Hmm. Well then. Why don't they just offer vassalization to this little girl? Really? Come on. I'm assuming that this is a Hindu symbol, though. Just a... Just an observation. Um... More relations going up. I'm gonna... So dissent. 
this guy. Hmm. I'm trying to assassinate this guy, but nobody's game. Well, there's a couple more now. I don't know whether that's because of... Oh, what? Really? I gave this guy a title? Oh, he's my steward. Really? And steward just gave us some more money to deal with. You need to be married. And... What's your cast? Brahmin. Perfect. Glorious. Now he'll like me even more. Um... I don't see anything else that I could add in. I'm gonna take off auto stop. I don't really like auto stop. It just feels like... I don't know, turning anything really on auto in this. Okay, I'll just let you be in charge of who's educating my children. Damn it. Reputation is ruined because somebody had to be a little drunk. What about the... Oops, not you. You... Your opinion of me? Go down? No? Just ten. Child is lacking. Yeah. <laughs> just... Uh, okay. I'll, uh... I'll do what you want, man. I ain't trying to rock the boat. I can't tell what the difference between some of these guys is. I'm assuming Marshall, obviously, Steward. And kind of diplomatic looking. I, I mean, I could tell by this. I don't know where they are, but... I think, because he's Spy Master, so this is like the Guru or something like that. No, Pad... Padaya. Don't hate me. Don't hate me for my pronunciation. Hmm. If he dies, it goes to his 11-year-old son. Who's a better general? Oh yeah, Daddy's way better general than his kid. Oh yeah. Um... Yes, I'll let you choose who's educating my children. Doesn't really bother me. Because those are all traits that I would have picked. Proud is not a bad trait. Neither is greedy. People who say that it is are... Wow, yeah. None of these are bad traits. <coughs> awesome. Huh. Yeah, Tyrannus is actually going to be pretty good. Except for the fact that he's this. So I don't lose the title? thought that they couldn't inherit. No? Oh, title's lost on succession. Ah, because we have Gavelkind. Hmm. That's fine, honestly. I don't really mind losing those as counties. I do mind losing them in, um, if I was gonna... If I was only a count, I would be bothered. But that's not such an issue. Oh, this is to kill my wife. Some days I... Derp. What about you? Yeah, nobody wants to kill you. She hates me because I tried to kill her. Right. And my wife's my spy master. That's that's not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> Maybe that's why she's so difficult to kill. There we go. Now that she's not spy master, I'll just auto invite because I'm too lazy to right now. Send that. We're good. I thought it was like a hundred and something. Uh, that's a little weird. Yeesh. Yeesh. Yeah, no. You don't need to be a court anything. Um, oh, one of my concubines has died. I'm assuming that that was one of the women that died that it told me about, but I really... I don't know the names of these women. Did either of my concubines give me daughter er son? No. Why would they do that? Of course I'll do that. Proud is a good trait. People say it isn't. Take a concubine. Um learn temperance with food. Huh. Trying to learn to eat without excess. That's pretty cool. That they have ambitions like that. Um, part of our warfare, so this is because we're at war. Master of War Elephants. It's pretty awesome. Jungle. How much jungle is there, really? That's pretty much all jungle. Jungle Expert! 
course. Am I leading this? No. Nah. So we're fighting this whole little tiny... Just a tiny little kingdom. It's the war floor. For this guy to get something. Hmm. That's a shame. That is a shame. Can you just, like, give... give me that, please? Hmm. There's an idea. Let's try this. Okay, I might regret this, but... Let's... let's see if we can do this. I'll raise all my army again. He's... we got way more. That's not good. Okay, let's hire some mercenaries, then. Um... Another 1400 is really all we need. Alright, let's all meet in the capital of this glorious Raja of Exiledom. Join up. Charge! Please win. Please win. Please win. Please win! Oh, thank God. Okay, we got this one. Let's chase after this. Smash the last of them. So they can't fight anymore, or fight much. And I think we'll be able to put down those mercenaries. Just captured some no-name mare. Eh. One last charge, and we'll crush the last of them. Captured another mare. Alright, this is the last time I'll go back and forth. Khan Nunyan Singh. You're gonna be educated. No. By the greatest warrior here. To become one of the Buddhist faithful. Before the Ra Maharaja can suggest anything. Um. Should we put down the mercs? Yeah, why not? Mercs aren't going to be that necessary. Split off Mercs. Uh, wait, I don't care. Drop them. Do I have any elephants in this? Is there a way I can check? Not really, not without your unit. Nope, no elephants. Fast forward a little bit, because this is slow. Um, I'm going to improve my castle. I'm really going to only improve this from now on. I mean, I'm going to lose these no matter what. Or I might improve them just slightly, but it won't be anything. Uh, holy shit, that's a lot of kids. That is a lot of kids. Take concubine. Um. No. No, no, I don't want it possessed. But she. Tyrannus, my mustachioed son. My dear boy. <laughs> I just touched. I'll take that. Whatever. Means he'll be good at ruling over my kingdom. Put Tyrannus as my new. Excellent. Shameless Star Wars references ensue. And we almost have this war. Can I give him any of these? I doubt I can. Yeah, just my capital. Because then I would be stealing from them. Oh, they think of everything, don't they? I like it because Gavelkind might be a law, but it's more of a guideline, really. Hmm. Give Shiv Singh a bit of a, a chance, man. He's not doing so bad. I'm going to put walls on these towns, because, honestly, what good's a castle without its walls? Come on, finish the siege! Quick! Awesome. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'll just demand. Thank you. Okay. So, 
Nesney is too big. My dear son, you shall be... I can't give you, really. Learn to reject the poison of greed. No! Don't reject the poison of greed. Greed is good. <laughs> to quote uh, a man from a film, Mr. Gecko. Um, okay, what titles am I going to lose on Succession then into who? Junkie gets two. Damn you, Junkie! Unless I give it to Khan. Give it to my dear son, Khan. I'm going to educate Khan myself. And I'm going to grant Khan. Can't, because he's not in the correct cast. Ugh. Right, that's why I can't give him. I can't give him that. That's weird. Really? Hmm. That's bizarre. Um. I guess I'll just give it to a new. Make a new lord. It's fine by me. Um. Is there anybody better at any of these jobs? Not my wife. Don't make her the boss. You're court poet, huh? You're a Brahmin, so I can't give you the title. Can I? No. Cast system is bullshit. There, I've said it. Hmm. Ah, uh, well. In times like this, this guy's 50 and has no children. Which means I'll kind of gain... I'll gain the title back eventually. Include lower titles. Yeah, kind of. Alright. Defeat fear. Huh. Those are really cool. Court musician. I don't need to impress him anymore. Okay. The joy is about money. We're giving money. It's the joys of money, kid. Be greedy. Be greedy and marry. I'm teaching him. Fine. Buddhist is actually not that bad of a thing, so... The exiled grow ever so slowly. Hmm. Now, the real only other expansion would be into more central India. The Marathi areas. And the Canada regions. It's not Canada, I'm sure. Shh. Who's this? And why have you been banished? Come to my court. Oh. Oh, because he hates the Maharaja. So he won't even come near the Maharaja's land. Oh, that's cool. Honestly, I need more concubines. She's not young, though. Eh. Awesome. More concubines! Tyrannus. Is there a type of Buddhism that he's accepted? Nope. Not really. That's okay. How old is she? Eleven? Twin? Jane? Exiled Junkie. It's a great warrior. Well then, we shall have to make you marry a great warrior, yes. Won't we? Wow, she's a relative of the Maharaja? I did not check this out. Oh, wow. Her father was the Maharaja, or is the Maharaja of... Oh, a distant kingdom up in the mountains. It's cool. Okay, then. Let's slow this down. The rise of the Shia. The schism at the heart of Islam dates back to its earliest days. The majority of Sunnis have long persecuted the followers of Ali, the Shias, forcing them into hiding. The partisans of Ali took to his descendants for leadership. Look to his descendants for leadership, pardon me. Uh, but they are forced to keep their ancestry secret. Now, though, the Shias are mobilizing their strength behind a boy whom they claim to be Ali's rightful heir and imam. Other Islamic Jurists claim that the boy is clearly a fraud, but to his followers he is the person they have been waiting for, and now they flock to his banner. The fools fight amongst themselves. Since it completely doesn't affect us. And this bag of a wife of mine. Ugh. 
die so I can marry somebody else. Hmm. Fight for that claim, which would be ill-advised. Wow. That's awesome. What an awesome character. Invite to plot. <laughs> plot to kill your mother with me, Junkie. Plot. Plot. Interested. You are, though. Is this my daughter in law? No, if only. Seeks to kill Tyrannus. Um. Son. There's no, there will be no killing of your brother. Although, to be quite honest, you would probably be a better ruler than your brother. Hmm. Because he's getting rid of the only traits that are really any good to him. Because that is a good trait. It's a very good trait to have. Hmm. Anybody else to send a bag of money to? No, the that didn't impress her. Money always impresses people. Oh, we're at 94%. We'll get a tiger hunt going on. A guru, huh? Yeah, I'll go do that. Send out riders with invitations, because we are going on a hunt for the great tigers. And I cannot wait to lose 10 prestige, because I seem to be a really, really bad hunter. Hmm. That beard. He's an angry looking man, this tyrant. Yeah, failed every time. I don't know why. I even have the hunter thing, so you'd think that I would be... A little better. Hmm. So one of them is married, so he's probably already working on getting children. Ooh. She went all nasty. She went all horrid. A wise guru has accepted. Whoa! That's awesome. Follow this guy. Can I get him to marry somebody? Please, please marry this woman. Because I'm going to just make you my... Yeah, that's right. So awesome! Look at his stats, holy shit. Is he Hindu? Eh. Have any other religion? Let's get him to start... Nah, just do the research. Wow. That's awesome. It does, oh, it does have another cast. He is a Brahmin. Hmm. Probably should have married. Oh, we're gonna kill my wife with manure. Oh, there's a plan. Feces. And explosions resulting from them. Let's see, what kind of factions are there? Hmm. Primogenitor succession. Thank God. And no complicity. Complicity. There. Because <laughs> I know how they died, but she doesn't know. Um. Let's see. Somebody who is from my cat. Wow, an Afghan. That's pretty cool. Maharaja Kalar the Wicked. All are the wicked, you say. That's a pretty impressive title. Huh. Is this the one? No. I think that was the one, but I'm not sure. Ooh, back. Um. She's only seven. I'm not really wanting to wait. I'm 44, for God's sake. That was the one. That was the one. Sure. It's only two more years, and if I can... I wonder, if I had married one of my concubines, what would have happened? Huh. Would have been interesting. 
tyrant's son, Junkie's brother-in-law. Oh, because their father died. Well, then, oh, their grandfather. The unready. Why did you come here? Huh. Demand religious conversion. Mm. You might as well stay a Buddhist, man. Ugh. Stretch. Hmm. Well, we've actually kind of recovered because we did really horribly at the start. That's what happens when I play blind. Um. Hmm. I have to have high crown authority, so basically never. And. We'll go max. I might actually just take out all the taxes because I don't really need it. I do not. And most of the things are castles here, or temples. So. Why tax that shit? Why, he asks. Hmm. This guy doesn't really... I don't know, doesn't really do anything for me. It was his father, though, who was the one who liked me, I think. No? No, it's this guy. Yeah? <clears throat> She's teaching my Star Trek reference of a child with his little Spock haircut. Bleh. Um, wow. Yes. Have my son marry a Maharaja's daughter? Absolutely. Um, Princess of Maharistan. Yeah, sure. My daughters. Am I actually setting them up all that well? Let's see. Oops. Let me zoom out. Okay. Uh, let's look. Dearest daughter, we must find you a place. A place which you can lay some really, really nice spot for us to take over. Check out to be blah blah blah. Herp derp. Um. Hmm. I don't know where any of these pl places are. So this is what it's like to play CK2 when you don't know the map. Hmm. Uh, no, not house. I wanna. Okay, those are kind of tiny. A Raja. What's the Raja of? Oh, he's a relative of the Maharaja, though. The Sutiya. Yeah, sure. That, let's let's do that. I need to try and. My big aim is to try and get pretty much everybody in India. <laughs> All these major ones, at least up in Bengal. I want them to be relatively involved with me. Let's get a, the Rajput. Now, does this. Prestige. Let me just see this again. Right. Good. Okay. So we're on Vina. Okay. So if I marry her to, hmm. if we marry her to nineteen, would he wait for that? Right. So I'm just, yeah, so she's getting that. He's not at war with us. Damn it. Okay, she's already marrying though. Ronnie. Um. Julia Raj. Where's this? Back. Range of betrothal. And that's part of this massive kingdom over there. Okay, I think that I've handled all of the marriages for now. Yep. Okay, we're good. Uh, better marshal? Junkie. Absolutely. Um, don't really have somebody better. Not really, it's just one. Um, marshal? Diplomat? Or chancellor, I mean. Have you go improve our relation with our liege? Hmm. 
Hurry up, you. So her mother was Afghan, and her father is Punjabi. And they live here, right on the border. Okay. That's really cool. I'm so glad that they added in. Even if they just put the border to here, I would have been content. Adding India was not a big deal to me, but adding at least up to um, the Indus, that was a good move. And all this stuff, I'm so glad that they put in sea zones finally. Good lord. You know, Europe's not looking like too much of a mess. It's got one uh, Norse kingdom, York, Jorvik. That's about it. Oh, no, I lie. Islander Revolt. Really? Huh. Ah, but they're revolting from Sudreyar. I don't know how to say these things. Hmm. The Byzantines are actually kind of growing. It's kind of impressive. Usually they really shrink. And then this is the Shah of Persia. Now, is there any Zoroastrian characters? Zoroastrian controlled? No. It's the thing of the Duchy of Karen, isn't it? Is it a duchy or a kingdom? No, it must be even a county, maybe. Maps changed quite a bit over here, so I really don't know where some stuff is. Anyway, back to India. Hmm. Still have that claim we could push. But I think we're doing good. We don't really have anything. We have a weak claim that we could press on the Raja of... <laughs> ah, he must have taken some stuff then. Oh, this is against that Maharaja. Silly me. Um, my daughter's really not had that much... Yeah, sure, send her to be educated by the guru. Speaking of, I would like to understand what getting these holy sites really does, because the moral authority doesn't matter. It doesn't seem. Um, hmm. What's the real point of having that? Of, to all units and holdings, blah blah blah. Hmm. Yeah, it just seems like they're just holy spots for the sake of having holy spots. Oops. Hmm. It's really strange. Hmm. Bizarre. Um. What's an independence faction like? Well, 50%, and we're the only ones in it, though. The fact that nobody else is doing that is kind of. I'm gonna stay in this faction. I mean, it doesn't really hurt my relations with him that much. Only ten. Um. Not a lot to do at this level. We're very, um, very reserved at this point. I mean, all I'm really wanting to do now is save up. It's costing me so much. I felt like I was making more money before. David's now finally grown up, so he can marry a relative of this Mar Maharaja. Now, since I'm marrying... It's his daughter, right? Oh, okay, so how... Who's David marrying? Oh, the sister. Wow. The sister of the Maharaja. So he's... Wow. That's pretty awesome. Hmm. He's my son's brother-in-law. So what does that give me? Does that give me a, an alliance? Yeah, it does, technically. So if I were to declare war... For independence, which I think would be silly. We're not large enough to do that. Because um, then we'll just get squished between the two of them. But... Let's see. Uh, allies. Cannot call into war. I'm assuming that's because I'm not independent. These are pretty good alliances. That's these two Maharajas. So if I really was that hard set on 
becoming independent. I think I could. But I'm not gonna try that. Not yet. Not quite yet. Still gonna lose those titles. But I need to find a way to make the money back. You're not... Stop doing that. Stop trying to lose that. This is opinion of me. Nobody has a clue. Nobody knew. She died. <laughs> he said with glee. When do you turn? Okay, so end of this year, I'll have a brand new wife who's young and God willing. Oh, yeah, let's go for a tiger hunt. God willing, she'll give me some children who are of the proper cast. Excellent. Cannot wait. Was it Jainists or the Buddhists that had the ability to pick which one? Uh, which one of their children was going to succeed? And designate. So it is Buddhist. Several forward scouts come running out from the main party. In excited whispers, they inform you that a large tiger has been spotted. Again! We go. I'll kill it myself. Oh, shit. Stepping forward, you watch the tiger closely, weighing your spear in your hand and waiting for the right moment to strike. Then suddenly the tiger leaps towards you. Surprised, you stumble backwards as it starts to tear at you with claws and teeth. Your soldiers run in, stabbing at the beast, and it decides to retreat, disappearing into the vegetation. Great. Oh, lovely. I got the 10% thing, the maimed. And now I lost 10 prestige because I'm horribly injured. How much does that affect my health? Holy shit. Ugh. Well, I wasn't planning on living much longer anyway. Thirty-nine percent. Kind of impressive. Just by myself. What's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Let's see, what other... Is there anybody that I have any stake in helping? Hmm. Everybody's way too content. Is what I'm feeling. Like, the religion differences, I don't have a problem with how little they are, but everybody just seems way too mellowed out in India. There's no fighting. It's not like... England or France even. Just the mess that happens with that. And certainly not like the Muslim kingdoms. Shit just falls apart all the time it feels like, if you'll pardon my expression. Um, we don't need to do this independence thing. It's not really worth it. Especially if he calls me on it. Why am I only able to celebrate this kind of awesome festival when I have so much prestige? Hmm. This is the last time I trust someone with my birds. Is this my concubine or who are you? Oh, you're that you're that possessed woman. Why did I give my bird to a possessed woman? No, no. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to go to a, some far off land and marry some 50 year old guy. I don't ever want to see you! You lost my bird! Hmm. Way far away. What an asshole. Today my son Junkie asked for his own fief to govern. Sorry son. You ain't getting nothing. Not yet. I don't know, maybe I could give him something. So I can only give him the one, but I could give Junkie anything. Hmm. No longer a guardian for her. What? Why is he in prison? Oh my god, I forgot about the guys that I took in that war. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to let... Here, here, here. Very well, I shall be merciful. I don't want you to be dying before I can get the ransom. It's only 50 for the both of them. But 
Still, jeez. I'm so sorry. Yes, thank you. Please educate my dear daughter. To properly celebrate the seasonal feast, you should invite all of your vassals. You have your scribe. Write the letters and send them off. The messenger's satchel decorated with flowers. Well then, decorated with flowers. The castle is decorated with flowers. More flowers. And colorful tapestries, carpets, and ribbons. All the guests have arrived and there is a bustle of people, all eager and full of festive spirit. It's time for the feast to begin. Welcome all. Let's have our lovely, lovely feast that's going on for a few months. 